Guys, I can't get level 50 this time. I'm just so sick of punching skeletons. It's ridiculous. I'm also like over my head in cats at the moment. Um, but yeah, I might get level 50 at the end of the episode. But for now, I just cannot be bothered. And this rain needs to die. Um, trouble with rain is you don't know if it's actually night time or not, because a lot of the times you will have the option to sleep, although the rain kind of masks the fact that it is actually night, but son of a bitch. And um, before I do anything this episode, I wanted to um, correct something that I had screwed up on for some reason. Um, the sign that I originally placed uh, at the tree farm, the Chris Fogg tree farm, he suggested um, the detailing of how I should do the farm. I dedicated this um, tree farm to him. And then for some reason, a creeper and or some random turn of events destroyed the sign. So yes, your sign's back out there. Um, when he said it wasn't there, I was kind of a bit confused. But yeah, turns out you were right. And yeah, I thought I'd rectify that before I did anything else. And... This episode, I wanted to get some building done. Um, I haven't, I've been stuck over at this arena for quite a while. Probably can't see it. But anyway, um, I thought we'll head back to the jungle. Now, is there anything I can trick shot off this roof? But the why why happening? Um, no. Still don't know where my dog is either, which is kind of depressing, but. Oh well. I guess we'll find him someday. Let's see how good these feather falling boots are. So good. I need to get another pair of them quite soon, actually. And a moment of silence. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get working on um, the, the treetop builds over yonder. Um, I haven't worked on it in quite a while, and I'm kind of running low on wood, so I'm probably going to need to harvest this for at least. Um, this tree farm isn't really anything spectacular. Uh, um, it's really just extremely basic. Uh, I was thinking of doing a a design by JL2579 or something or other. Very redstone intensive. Um, basically just has pistons on both sides and um, it automatically destroys the leaf block so you don't have to worry about that and then it just pumps out a whole room full of wood that makes it really easy to cut although that is probably something I'll do at a later date because for now I really cannot be asked to make something that crazy for something so simple I think I'll just stick to my simple little humble tree farm you know it is annoying as shit to hop out of it but anyway, I've been watching the worst videos on YouTube and I thought I'd better make an episode before I sicken myself to death. I don't know. If any of you guys have gotten to the stage where you're just browsing YouTube to the point where you're watching pimple popping videos or like cyst popping fucking strange videos, I think it's time to head off and do something else. So that's why I'm making this episode because... I don't know, I'm just sick of looking at mayonnaise ejaculate out of the backs of human beings. And, I don't know, that's just me. I can only tolerate so much of that shit. Um, even though it is oddly intriguing. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking about my weird-ass fetishes. And we better head over to our little build station. Um... Word of the day for today can be fucking glowstone. Uh, so, just sneak that one out. Holy shit, am I... Wow. I don't know if that video just did that lag justice, but that was not. Um, but yeah, if you're the first and only person to post that word in the comments, you have this episode sign dedicated to you. Just, uh, you know, squeeze that one out while I can. 
Um, yeah, the part in particular that I want to work on today is this part over here. I um, really like the design as it stands, but it's currently incomplete, and I want to change that by the end of this episode. Um, I'm not quite sure if I want to keep the, the land on top. Um, I think I might, actually, because I think that it'll look a bit stupid if I get rid of the jungle entirely above it. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just get this all done in wood, like the roof and the walls and such. Probably make a balcony out here to have a look at the slightly uninteresting terrain around me, but this rain is so annoying, and I'm pretty sure Optifine has an option to turn off weather. Now, I don't know if there... Okay, that's a bit of false advertising, but... The f I don't know if that was just cu cucking for incidents, but, um... Hmm, fuck it, the rain stopped, that's all I care about. But, um... Yeah, what we're going to need to do, actually... I might actually need to harvest a bit more wood, because I don't think this is going to suffice. Actually, I think I've got a little bit in this chest. Yeah, I do. Which is good. Um, I'm not quite sure how I want to set this up. If I just want to have a big Dorito shape, or if I want to jagger it, or anything. Um, something I need, need to do is cover these bad boys up. Can stay here. Um, by the way, if you didn't know what these things are, these water thingies were, they're supposed to be symbolic of a support beam, that's just a little designer cranked out, and I don't know, nothing special, I just thought it was pretty cool, so I adopted that design, but anyway, I'll better get started on this roof, this roof, 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 um, well, don't ask me what the fuck that was just now, but thing is, I've expanded it to make it this high, and if I was to maintain that same build height, I'm going to have to destroy a lot of crap. But, I think it will look better in the long term if I do do that. That was horrible. Um, because, yeah, it'll look a bit dodgy if it doesn't, if the ceiling just raises and then goes back down again. So, we're probably going to have to dig out until this layer up here. And, um, this is pretty much what I had planned for this episode. Um, I don't really get to do a lot of building episodes, so it's nice to have a bit of variety now and again. Um, let me know if you guys approve. Can I marry this this playstyle? Um, I don't know what the fuck that was supposed to be, but anyway. Um, but, just because of the nature of this episode, um, a lot of you guys like the Would You Rather questions. Um, and I'll probably crank on... I've got to stop saying that. It's a really bad term to use. Because it can be interpreted so poorly. It's a bit unbelievable. But, yeah, at some stage I'll probably open that up and ask you guys, as well as myself, a question. Um, I probably might have to half slab this top here. I don't really want to have mobs spawning on top of it. Although I can just place some humble little torches. So, either I'll get the job done. And yeah, I guess I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Piss off, flower. And um, coming up at episode 40, we'll be building a Enemy XP farm, which I'm totally looking forward to. Um, the reason why I'm waiting to episode 40, of course, is because every 10 episodes I do a one hour special, if you guys are new around here, the newbies. Um, so yeah, it's every single 10th episode, <coughs> mosquito, I apologize. <laughs> Um, every 10th episode I do um, is a one hour special uh, currently. Uh, I want to reserve the right to be able to not do them in the future because they're extremely hard. And yeah, if you hit yourself with it, you could do some damage. And I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this little balcony area here. Really don't know. So I'll probably work on the other side first. This zombie needs to die. And, um, I'm, like, in full-on PV... God, that mosquito. Anyway, I'm just gonna let it suck the shit out of me right now while I soldier on. Um, fuck, I did not mean that. Yeah, ever since I downloaded that Ultra Hardcore mod, I've been 
craving some PvP fairly hardcore, and I haven't had my fix yet, so I'm a bit clucky. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, yeah, pretty keen on doing some of that stuff, and I really haven't found an outlet in which to do it. And that arena, I really want to get you guys in this world and have a few matches with you guys with that thing, a few free throws and what to not. So I think that'll be fun. Um, obviously, I'm going to have the massive advantage because I'll be the host of the server. And uh, I apologize in advance. But um, I guess it makes me look better than I am. So, I don't know, make make the video a bit more entertaining so I'll probably do a little bit better than everyone else I'm playing against. Um, I don't know whether I'm happy or sad about that. A bit of both. Mixed emotions. I'd like it to be fair. Although, at the same time, I'd like to go well. But um, one thing I did want to propose is, uh, would you guys like to see me play some different games apart from Minecraft? I mean, the only games I really have installed are pretty much COD and TF2. And the only Call of Duty I can really stand playing at this point is COD 4. And obviously the only platform I have is PC, so um, it'd be PC gameplay. Uh, I'm, not, I'm a bit hesitant to upload that kind of stuff though because people get really fussy over how good you are and such. Um, I've got a cumulative, I'll, I'll say approximately around 3,000 hours or so invested into the COD series. Um, that's ranging from COD 4 to Modern Warfare 3. And I really don't like talking about COD to be honest. Um, but yeah, if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Um, but keep in mind, don't give me crap if I'm bad. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. I'd be live commentating, so my performance would be fairly piss poor, and my play style isn't exactly the best. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking about that, because this is Minecraft, not Call of Duty. I've got another channel for that crap, and hmm, I don't know. I'm just a bit reluctant to post on that channel with commentary. I don't know why. Just so many people used to not hearing me talk, but, I don't know, preserve the memories, I don't know, I really don't know, <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm gonna go load up a would you rather question, um, and I'll be right back. Okay, for any of you guys who are interested in, um, the following questions, I would like to have a look at the website for yourself, it's yourather.com, it isn't would you rather. Um, that's something I got mixed up with, so hopefully I can clear that up for you. But um, the first question loaded up was, would you rather Chuck Norris or the Old Spice guy from the commercial, Old Spice commercials? And um, I don't know if they're talking about Terry Crews or the other, other dude in the commercials, but either way, I'm going with the Old Spice guy. Because Chuck Norris is an overrated hunk of shit. He's like 50 years old and like has bald hair. So, I don't know. I just don't know if Chuck. Um, I'm, gu I'm guessing that's the general consensus. Let's have a look. 51% want Chuck Norris. Jesus. I guess 49% of people haven't seen... I mean, 51% of people haven't seen the Old Spice commercials because they are fucking hilarious. Um, I don't even know if I can get that stuff in Australia, but if I can, let me know and I'll go out of my way to get that stuff. Because, I don't know, it's nice when advertising's done right, in my opinion. Um, ads aren't exactly evil, in my eyes. It's just a boring, fucking, low entertainment value ads are just the worst thing ever. I don't know. Let me, oh my god, I almost said let me guys know. Again, I'm so bad at saying that. But anyway, I'm going to load up the next question while I proceed to dig dirt. And would you rather be hunted by people or hunt people? Now, I don't know if we're killing these people or we just, hmm. I'm just going to go with hunt people because at the end of the day, who wants some dude chasing you with a gun and or sharp object? Not to me. But if that's, I don't know if that's your kind of thing, I guess. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's see. Yeah, 17% of people are retarded, but such is life. I'm, what I might do, actually, 
Mm. I just don't feel comfortable building for a whole episode, so I don't know. I'm just a bit insecure about that. There's a certain le level of entertainment I really want to maintain, and it's kind of artificial, the kind of way I can, you know, assume how entertaining something is, but I imagine me placing blocks like this isn't the most stimulating thing you've ever seen in your life, but if it is, more power too, and, but, I don't know, um, I personally watch a lot of building episodes myself, and I tend to find them enjoyable, but then again, I'm watching someone who actually knows how to commentate properly, so, I don't know, maybe it's something I could do in the future, but for now, I think I'll have to stick to my, stick to my would you rather questions, otherwise I'm going to lose it lose topics to think about. And that's something I really need to focus on, is actually have a topic before I start recording an episode, but I, my main priority is to get an episode out as as consistently as possible, because a lot of people really like the, con the fact that I can upload consistently, and I do as well. Um, I generally record these later at night, um, I'll record them, go to bed really late, and then upload them when I wake up in the morning. So gives me a whole day to think about what, what direction I want to go next. Obviously, One Direction's the way to go. Um, favorite band ever. Uh, yeah. Bunch of cuties, those guys. Um, fuck, what am I doing? What am I saying? I don't, actually, that's that's a lie. Some of them are actually pretty bad, pretty bad in the looks department. I imagine if they didn't have 10 billion... I don't know. I'm going to stop talking about One Direction. This is going fucking horrible. Um, would you rather... Listen... That was really aggressive. I apologize. Would you, would you rather lose an eye and a hand or lose a leg and an ear? Hmm. Let's think about this. An eye and a hand or a leg and an ear? Now... <clears throat> hmm. I honestly don't have any... Don't have any vested interest in my. Huh. That's the w wrong way to approach it, actually. I probably would rather lose my leg and an ear, I would say. Um, I prefer to. I prefer to have both hands and both legs, to be honest. You can get prosthetics legs pretty. Like, technology these days is pretty crazy, so. Replacing your legs really. It isn't as bad as it sounds, like, I know it's still pretty fucking strange, but you can still get the same performance out of a prosthetic leg as you can out of an organic leg, <laughs> I guess you'd call it, but, um, yeah, you can't, you can't replace an eye, not that, my, not that I'm aware of, and you can't replace a hand, really, I mean, there are prosthetic hands and shit out there, but, I mean... I like flex the shit out of my hands right now. I have no idea why. I tend to do a little crazy shit when I'm talking, but you can't really emulate the functionality of a hand through a robotic utensil, I suppose, to its maximum potential. But yeah, I'm gonna be losing an eye. No, what the fuck did I say? Losing a leg. I totally forgot. Losing a leg and an ear. That's it. And I mean, you can just be listening to motto f Mono for the rest of your life, which is kind of shitty. I mean, I've got a surround sound. Fuck, I just... Well, f how the fuck did I do that? Oh my god. <sighs> I swear. The biggest danger to my life is myself. Fuck this frame rate, though. Um, but yeah, I've got a surround sound headset, so it'd kind of be a little bit redundant, but... I don't know. I think we're losing our leg and an ear. Providing that's actually what I was supposed to say. Yeah, 66% are with me on that one. I think we might give the would you rather's a rest actually because I don't want them to. I don't want them to be the sole um, source of conversation. I just think that's a bit silly. Um, but um, what I could talk about, I guess, is the current growth of my channel. Um, I don't know, it's really spastic, and um, if you guys are new to my channel, let me know how you found it, found me out, and today I got the weirdest form of channel growth ever, um, 
I posted a comment in some large YouTubers comment section saying how much that I liked having a small channel and how it's easy to interact with subscribers when you've got very little subscribers to interact with and literally a few minutes later I gained five subscribers from people who just wanted to I don't know I don't know what they wanted to prove but um, I don't know if you're one of those guys uh, sup <laughs> um, this probably will be the first video you watch of mine so welcome and um, let me know if you actually remember that comment and if you do tell me which video was it was posted on and I'll give you a, a special reply I suppose not that that really is a thing I'm doing but I don't know special mentions to the guy who recognizes where that comment was from um, but I've been looking for ways to kind of put my channel out there um, I really don't know any valuable ways to do so um, the best thing I can think of doing is obviously uploading consistently every day um, which is extremely hard to do if any of you guys can actually do that yourself maintain a certain standard of quality and actually upload every single day of the week my hack goes off you because I, I go for random random spurges is that even a word random little sessions where I'll upload for like a week straight every day but then I'll just die in the arse and not upload for like two weeks two weeks a couple of days um, but it was worse when I was working on Call of Duty videos because those videos they would take me hundreds and hundreds of hours to create and I could literally if I like was flat out the whole month I could probably maybe make a maximum of two videos that I could be happy to put my name to and eventually it just got to the point where I started hating that game and the time spent just really didn't justify the videos I was making because I'm dwelling into the Call of Duty conversation again I apologize if that's not your forte but I don't know I spent many years working to build a Call of Duty channel and I don't know, commentary really wasn't my thing and for some reason I just feel it's a bit generic and I, I don't know, it's a bit hypocritical for me to say that considering I'm just mining stone in a let's play of Minecraft but I don't know, it's hard to describe why I don't want to post Call of Duty commentaries because that's a whole nother dimension of Poonus. Uh, Minecraft, there is really no standards. You kind of, you leave your personality and your basic building skills and that's pretty much what carries you through a Minecraft channel. Um, obviously, I don't really want to limit myself to Minecraft only, but Minecraft has just, in my eyes, has probably one of the best communities amongst it, so in terms of YouTube communities and, you know, I don't know, what else would there be? Actual game communities, shitballs. I don't know, it's just a lot of genuine people in this community and, I don't know, that's why I'm not, not too, I wouldn't say ashamed, but it's something, a community that I'm happy to be a part of because it's not full of retarded competition which is essentially why I practically left the Call of Duty community because it's, it's gotten to the point where it's become oh, so saturated and full of bullshit that everyone has to compete with each other to stand out from the crowd and yeah, it's just an ugly, ugly state that it's become. So that's why I'm doing these Let's Plays. Um, I've been doing YouTube for quite a while and um, as I said before with the whole not being able to upload frequently um, that kind of pissed me off because the amount of time I invested into YouTube um, I really wasn't getting anywhere um, in terms of kind of like I don't know if I could convert every hour spent from watching videos and learning things and playing games to try and get um, footage I don't know what the fuck I just said but um, if I could convert all that 
time spent trying to make my YouTube experience more successful. Um, and I actually put it into Minecraft. I reckon I would have got a lot bet a lot further, a lot quicker. And I don't know. I really don't know if I made a whole lot of sense right now, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to get across. It's hard to articulate my point when I'm trying to build something. I'm not very good at multitasking. If I had a vagina, that may be differently. That may be different. Um, maybe I should try and. I don't know, push my doodle inside out and see how that goes for an episode, but I don't imagine that will go very well. It might hurt a little bit, but if it gets if it gets me to the point where I can multitask more efficiently, I guess it's I guess it's the only way. But um I think I've made very little sense for long enough and we're gonna load up another question of would you rather now this next one is would you rather not be able to taste or not be able to smell? And that's a, a dead easy question. There's literally no way about this. Um, what am I trying to say? There's only one answer, obviously. And obviously, you want to pick not being able to taste. Because if you can't smell, you can obviously not taste either. So it's either you choose one thing or you choose them both. It's a... Uh, it's a win-loss or a loss-loss, I suppose. And, hmm. But I guess if in an imaginary, imaginary stance where hypothetically we couldn't actually... You could actually distinctly separate the two, I would probably lose my sense of smell because... Hmm. Actually, no, I'd probably lose my sense of taste. I'm like ping-ponging back and forth. But then again, this is a building episode. But, um... Um, just because, um, that means, um, I wouldn't be able to enjoy food, but at the same time, I would be able to eat really healthy food without, or without cringing every time I eat it, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's something I struggle to do, is eat good food, and I guess that would make it a bit easier. Um, I don't know, maybe that's a, a very short-minded approach, but... I'm going with that one for, for now. And what I might do, I might actually fill in this roof off camera because I don't want this episode to go too long. And um, I do watch a lot of B00's building episodes and I honestly don't know how he manages to make it entertaining. And if it's, um, I don't know, maybe I'm too harsh on myself. I have no idea. Maybe I'm not. Let me know if you guys would prefer me to just talk casually like I was just now, or kind of make it a bit more condensed and progression oriented. Because I don't know. Either way, I enjoy making them both. I just feel that I feel like I'm doing you guys a bad gesture if I was to build the whole episode. So yeah, give me some feedback on that, guys, and I will take it into consideration next time I want to build something. Because, yeah, I'm happy to build, but I'm just, yeah, really on the fence to whether it's actually got any entertainment value. But, yeah, I'll be back once I've finished this wooden roof. Alright, we're taking the long way up to this thing. Um, I got an inbox asking the coordinates of my slime farm, and uh, I thought I would have shown them in the video, but um, I just ran over there, told the guy, and now I'm on my way back here, and it'll be interesting to get a bottom ass view of what has been created so far, and also um, use the only current way to get up from bottom to top, which is this crappy waterfall. Uh, crappy in regards of elevating ability is very very slow, <laughs> and I've been working this, working on this for quite a while. Um, the majority of my time spent was clearing out cobblestone and or dirt and actually had to make a whole new chest just for that crap. Um, it's not 100% but as you can see a lot of it has been cleared out. And um, all that's left to do really is to fill in the roof. The roof. Um, just place all these wooden planks along here.
obviously, oh wow, that was terrible. Obviously not, yeah, not the best thing ever, but um, I'll probably decorate the interior of this sometime in the future. I probably won't get it done today. I uh, worked on this enough for today, I think. Uh, even though it is a whole episode dedicated to building, I still believe that there is a limit of how long I can actually work on one thing before my brain fucks itself with the traffic cone. Um, again, don't understand any of the analogies I crap out of my mouth hole. But, yeah, it's getting very late, as always. Um, running out of resources fairly quick. So I'll probably have to camp at the Chris Folger tree farm <laughs> uh, at some stage just to get my wood supplies back up. But I might just quickly do this off camera and then I'll join you guys in a sec because this might take a while. Alright, I'm glad I just skipped through that because that literally took about five minutes more than I needed to. And as you can see, jumping and placing blocks really isn't my forte. But... Um, this pretty much wraps up the end of the episode, uh, what I basically needed to ask you guys, essentially, what it boils down to, the main three questions I need to, need answered in the comments, is if, it's alright, if it's okay with you guys if I was to play other games on this channel, um, what else was there, was there, um, do you like the build, actually, we've actually got a fair bit done, um, Although it may not seem like it, I actually got quite a crap ton done. And for those who are interested, I might actually go through my statistics. Um, I went through these earlier on in the series, but it was quite a while ago. And since then, I've done quite a bit of stuff. Um, you obviously just pause the video if there's any point in which you'd like to see it properly, but some of it one egg, um, some of it obviously really doesn't matter, uh, what else can we, what else is interesting, 133 thousand uses of the pickaxe, pretty crazy, but I think that's pretty basic statistics, um, it gets updated every time that the new patches come out, I think, so, I don't know, mate. The reason I wanted to show you that is just in case it updates and it resets me, but I don't know. We'll see how we go, but um, I think I better go do the word of the day sign, actually. Oh, I haven't done it yet. Um, the word was actually released earlier on in the episode, if you caught that. Um, and yeah, I better go update the sign, however, because I like to give the person who claimed the sign a bit of recognition because it is getting to the point where it's quite hard to claim a sign for yourself um not to be a deterrent it's just the real reality re whoa reality of it and um i've got level 43 and i'm tempted to just do an enchantment now which i might actually do i was going to get level 50 and just post it at the end of the video but come to think of it i might just get a level 43 because i don't really think it makes too much of a difference and um before i do anything i'll go get the winner from episode 37 all right when you check the comments for episode 37 and it was claimed by lynch what, what am i doing episode 37 uh lynchy double i one two three four five so well done to you lynchy boy and um another thing i did need answered was if you guys like those building episodes I know it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I don't know. I just don't know. I might throw them in there every now and again. Obviously, not going to dominate the series. They're just going to be a, a minor aspect of it. Because um, I don't want you guys thinking that I, for some reason, do this illegitimately. I want to show as much as I can without showing the obvious kind of thing. I want This world is 100% survival. Absolutely nothing is done with mods or cheats or anything or creative mode or anything like that. I just need to emphasize that because if I don't, some people might get the wrong impression. But 
Um, I'm just going to go for anything over level 40. 42, meaning a life, why not? Not a bad pickaxe. That's exactly what I got from a level 50, so not complaining. But anyway, guys, I might, I might sign out from up there, actually. Get a bit of an overview of the world. Um, I will wait to night time before I sign out, because the world just looks 10 times better at night. But, yeah, I'll meet you guys up at the mob trap farm, and, yeah. Alrighty, yeah. I'm just going to show you why I don't put my render distance on extreme. This literally took about 15 minutes to actually load all these chunks, and as you can see, it's extremely choppy. Although you can see a lot, it's just not worth it. And with Optifine, we can actually zoom in. Bam! Fucking, that's what we did this episode. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And uh, one thing I did want to show you guys from up here, if I can actually spin around without crashing my game. Can we get an F? Right. For some reason, it kind of, the frame rate improves if I was zoomed in. And believe it or not, I'm actually pressing buttons right now. Oh, wow. That is horrible. That's my quarry. Where is my cursor at? Alright, screw this for a joke. This is ridiculous. We're gonna go to far. Can't go wrong with far. For some reason, the frame rate just immensely drops when it goes to extreme. I know it's a lot of rendering and such, but there isn't as much difference between normal and far as there is from far to extreme. It's just ridiculous. And. Of course, it hasn't rendered. Hmm. Um, but anyway, guys, I think it's pretty much got to that point where I need to wrap the episode up. And, um, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this building episode. I'm not sure if I'll do many more of them in the future, but hopefully you guys like it. A bit more chilled out and mellow, but anyway. That was episode 38, guys. I appreciate you watching. And, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Load, load, show the people. <laughs> One last chicken, all right. That's your ending from up here. I better go procrastinate long enough and yeah. Oh fuck, I'll catch you later, fuck.